This week on the Droids, we're going in blind. We don't know what we're talking about. What could happen in this week's episode? Stay tuned. It's the Droids. <laughs> Welcome back to the Droids You're Looking For, a Star Wars podcast. Alongside Ryan and Chris, I am Mike. Uh, guys, I have something to talk about. I promise well, I have something whew, to talk scared about. Me. Well, I'm, first I'm I need to say, please refer to me you. as Admiral Ryan because I'm preparing for my trip to Galactic Star Cruiser. No, that's what I want to talk about. <laughs> well, I, 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 I assumed. Did I steal? I hope I didn't step on a joke you were going to make. We could start over. No, I, I got to step say, on Mike, jokes. That was, the I jokes. Been on, first off, it's great to be here with you both. I haven't been on the pod for a while. Um, <laughs> I, None of us have. Nothing huge happened in my life. I didn't have a kid or anything. I have no excuses. <laughs> but um, but it's great to be here with you both. And Mike, I, right before we started, here's a, as Chris would say, a peek behind the sausage. We generally say, like, what are we going to talk about? And we started without doing that. And I thought, what's the intro going to be? Is Mike just going to, like, run into a, a dead end here? <laughs> yeah, I was genuinely I was <laughs> curious as well. I was like, oh, cool. I'll find out what we're going to talk about. <laughs> yeah, what a pro. You know, sometimes I, I hearken yeah. back to days when I used to do this professionally. Oh, man. Well, yeah, sometimes. I mean, you didn't, the only thing you didn't mention that we will, of course, be finishing. Yes, that's, that, yeah. that, that is exactly why uh, I no longer have professional work is because I didn't hit every key point. And if you right. can't keep the running. You got to keep the key points. Well, you should yeah. say you, you don't have professional broadcast work. You, do, you are employed. At oh, moment. true. You, well, thank, I wish I wasn't employed and I could just pot all day. <laughs> If that was a possibility. I mean, you know you, what? I, I mean, yeah. it's a, you could do that. I could. I wouldn't recommend it. I don't think your family would. No, but it, I mean, my family's not going to have any money after I go to Galactic Star Cruiser anyway. So there it is. Wow, That's true. You might as king well start of Segway, the king I, of Segway. We, I think back. we just dive into it, guys. Yeah. Look, I want to talk about all the cool things about this. I want to talk about the fact that I'm still yeah. going to go, but we have to lead with the pricing. The hey, pricing. Come on. Two guests, forty eight hundred. Yeah, three guests you... for a two night stay, three day experience, and really that third yeah. day is just a goodbye in the morning. Uh, <laughs> so long, see you later. You got to be out 50, by eleven. Yeah, fifty three hundred for three, six grand for four guests. That's three adults and one child. Are, are we so who's a taking three break adults on and one child? Yeah. They posted the pricing like it wasn't embarrassing. Yeah, they did. <laughs> you know what I mean, they just posted it like it was a fact. Yeah, like, oh, you, you know, this is just how much you pay to go on a Star Cruiser. <laughs> yeah. What am I going to be? Am I going to be eating uh, tippy up with Richard Branson? <laughs> <laughs> was Bezos going to okay. connect his ship to ours? <laughs> He's going to dock. Yeah. Bezos is going to dock. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, you know what? I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, hey. So, so... What's funny is I'm here looking and and they the whole thing is very like in the whole website is kind of in character as you'd say. Yeah. yeah so yeah. like overview highlights dining, start planning and then prepare for launch, right? So like the overview highlights dining, that's that's universal. You would need that on a Galactic Star Cruiser. But under the standard cabin <laughs> um it sleeps 4 to 5 passengers. It tells you the room configuration. Wait, how does four to the five tr- passengers work if you're paying six grand for four people? Who knows? But then the <laughs> cabin amenities, the cabin amenities, uh, yeah, mini refrigerator, hair dryer, <laughs> <laughs> HBO Max, phone with voicemail messaging. Cool. Who? I, I, this does take place a long time ago. I suppose. yeah, right, right. Welcome yeah. to the 1970s. An H an H two O plus spa, bath and shower products. Wow, interesting. Well, maybe that's the. Maybe that's yeah. the nice goodbye you get at the end. Yeah, and then, no, at the, the end, they put you in a little capsule and turn you upside down and shake all the money out of your pockets if you had any luck. <laughs> they say this I is think... how they did it in the movies. And they turn yeah. you upside down. They turn you upside down and they just shake you. Like, oh, wait a two second, team, this is my wallet. Two teamsters like, shake you in a cardboard <laughs> yeah, like, hey, my, I think my wallet fell. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Welcome believe... to Galaxy's Edge. <laughs> Well, the voyage total, three guests per cabin, four guests per cabin, two guests, it's all the same. <laughs> the voyage total is $5,300. No matter what. Oh, but I actually, so I, I, I think they have something like only, what, 30 or 60 rooms. Is well, what that's not uh, my fault. No, no, it's not your fault. I'm just I'm saying this is why they're pricing they should, it that way. They're they building have, like, it in those... Swampland in Florida. They couldn't build yeah. more rooms. They should have those like <laughs> stacked, you know, like the one stall rooms where it's just like a bed. They should just have like a room of those. 
They couldn't knock down Fort Wilderness Lodge and make some room <laughs> for Galactic Star Twozer. They probably will. Twozer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're telling you you mean that the uh <laughs> the long commute living in the woods experience is not what people are looking for at Walt <laughs> Disney World anymore? <laughs> <laughs> exactly this is the opposite this building doesn't even have windows <laughs> I, well, that's the thing i'm thinking about is that you know if you are say you get stuck in your room or you're sick and you're just looking at the a brick. screen meant yeah. to be space but you have no window for two three days yeah that's that's gonna be great uh, yeah, I, can't imagine, a, like, a COVID I can't lockdown. imagine getting like i know I, I, i'm not trying to make light of of illness so let's pretend that this is like a, a I can't imagine, like, being in this room, being on vacation, you know, like, things happen, people get sick and stuff. Like, imagine you, like, got, I'll say, the flu in, while you're in this room yeah. and having, like, yep. a fever for three days in this room. That's what yeah. I'm saying. In the room, you wake like... up in the middle of the night from a fever dream to find out you're in the Galactic Star Cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm sure there's some kind of animatronics in the room that, like, make it shake and stuff every now yeah, and then. Yeah, like, do you think that there's a point that they're, like, you know, we're taking a light speed jump and, oh like, the God. whole place shakes? It's got Chris, it. I there, love that. There's oh, got to be some bells I, and whistles I, like I, that. I don't know, I don't know what we're six doing. Grand. I don't there know what we're point, doing if like, this room doesn't if, shake. If I'm paying six grand to be in a room with the yeah. four droids... Um, and and you know me and sam are sharing what they're calling a birth which is i was just gonna comment on that a birth i've never heard that is that a star wars term no that's a a ship term we all got our tauntaun blankets and if there's not a point where we open the windows and we see like the at least the light speed lighting you know yeah yeah i'd be disappointed well well, i'm sure that's how they upcharge you too it's like oh do you want uh like first person view light speed or do you want to see it from the side Oh you, <laughs> oh, you wanted to go to light speed. Well, that's oh. going to be our premium package. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You won't see it. Your room has no windows and All a right. gone I'm, I'm not going to try to defend the global conglomerate, but they are including <laughs> ticket ticket visits to uh, Hollywood Studios. So, like, oh. a ticket price per person is at least, I think, 200 bucks oh, it's covered. per person. Part yeah, that's all are usually, like, a 108, I think, a day. That was oh. a long time ago, though. Yeah. So I don't I don't know I think I think I remember recently when I went maybe two years ago I felt like I was like at least like one fifty but maybe I'm wrong, uh, but so with that in mind you know you're getting a little bit of price per person so you don't have to that's what a four hundred dollars if it's a family of four five hundred dollars mm-hmm. whatever it ends up being, and then uh, beverages food food and beverages included with the exception of alcohol and specialty beverages Ooh. if they had included alcohol in this then I'm like yeah. all right I think the price is all right the price is right well at that yeah. point you could scale it to be worth the money. Right? Yes. That's what I'm right. saying. Like, so it's like, I can only yeah. eat so much, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they had all the meals and everything included... I mean, the it meals are, here... but the drinks aren't. Oh, just Sorry, so I, I, I'm, I've been clicking around. So yeah. we have the... It says here, for a discounted price, you can get the Legacy Run experience. <laughs> <laughs> See, isn't it great we read that a book? Ship. Yeah. Right. Uh, I love it. I don't know what that It's kind of half of a ship. It's you can see fully the immersive. Yeah, but he, oh, let's no. let's start diving into the itinerary. And the first yeah. thing I want to say about the itinerary is it ends at about eight forty five at night on the first night, and I'm like, the bar better be open beyond eight forty five. Yeah, I, 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 yeah if, if you're telling me I'm locked kind of in my thing. cabin at eight forty five, what does it say? Eight eight thirty jizz band practice. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. that's at five a.m. <laughs> that's five a.m. <laughs> it's like when you stay in a college town and the marching band starts. Off. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, great, the marching band's practicing. <laughs> it is. It is really crazy to me how specific the timing is on this. Yeah. Because the idea of herding the cattle of people to get oh somewhere so that you can do a 15-minute thing and then a 20-minute thing and then a 15-minute... Yeah. I mean, how is that even going to work? You've got an outer rim regalia for 15 minutes that's, <laughs> I guess, maybe right connected to where your dinner is. I don't know. Also, an outer rim regalia? Yeah. Which What's is that? only 15 minutes. I would think a regalia is longer than that. What right? is that? Like Aunt Veru puts on her nice denim. It's like it's her and Uncle Owen's anniversary. <laughs> yeah. They're going to red yeah, tip yip. Yep. I hey, think it's some blue it's, milk for you tonight. It's more of a burlesque kind of Aunt Veru. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. It's like Jabba's. It's Jabba's, Jabba's palace. palace. Yeah. The extended yeah. versions. Yeah. But you look through this, and there's, you know, Sabak lessons, exciting. Sabak tournament. That's fun. Cool. I do like that. You know, that. you get some Wait, lightsaber. Is this a real training. list you're reading from? This isn't a bit. Yeah. No, this isn't a bit. <laughs> okay. This is, uh, I think if you go to the page, what highlights? is it? The is it highlights? highlights? and then okay, scroll great. all the way down. I just Don't worry, I just paid, I paid $100 on. and I got the itinerary. <laughs> <laughs> one, they would probably give that to you for a thousand. <laughs> yeah. But right, they've so got, yeah, I see. They've got like the captain's reception. They have unexpected story moments, which are meant to be kind of diving you into a more immersive experience. 
I mean, it all sounds very fun and very cool. I, I think, you know, I also like the idea that you don't have to wait in line for Rise of Resistance or Smuggler's Run. You just go. And because you're oh, part cool. of this, you're not wasting any time while but you're there. What they don't say, and I read this, is that you go, but you're one of the, you have to stand amongst the Stormtrooper animatics for the day. Yes. You, <laughs> you're you're technically they, you're technically employed. A, an I nine employee for the day. Right. What they don't realize is that when you see those stormtroopers, like wow, those animatronics are so lifelike, and then you can hear people under the mask going, oh, <laughs> yeah. it's really it's dark. It's dark. Yeah, I actually think there should be a carbonite section to this. You know, you get a, a carbonite spa, right? That would be a good way to spend your time oh, at a Star that's, Wars hotel. That's cute. I wait, so they fun. Wait, so you make... enter, you enter, and you're supposed to be fully immersed, even though the picture has a, like a Corolla in front of the the yeah. entrance. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and <clears throat> so, but well, yeah, you just like take the no, shuttle to the park port. like everybody else, right? You're, There's no like underground going to system. S- you start at a spaceport, is I where like... your Corolla drops you off, <laughs> and then <laughs> then you take your ship, your launch pod, then you get to the Star Cruiser. And then on your way in the van that they take you in. Oh, this is like going to Mars a, 2121 in Manhattan. <laughs> it's, it's you on another uh, Star Cruiser to get, or a spaceship to get from the Star Cruiser to Batu. So a transport uh, shuttle that you're going to be on. Do they have escape pods? They got to have escape pods, right? I'm sure if you pay extra, you can. <laughs> Or if like a ki- yeah, if like a kid's having a meltdown. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And you're like, yeah, I gotta get yeah, out of here. The same way, like every out. ride kind of yeah. has like, like on the Tower of Terror, a lot of people like back out right before they're getting on the elevator. The Tower of Terror doesn't exist anymore. And then you but, see like Mickey Mouse oh, it, smoking it a cigarette. <laughs> but does it? Dis- is it still Dis- as a park? Oh yeah, Disney World. It's not going anywhere at Disney World. I as, uh, as I just they only watched... turned it into the Guardians of the Galaxy in California. Yep. Oh, okay. Good. As okay, I just you. watched the um, behind the attraction on Disney oh. Plus, it's still in Hong Kong, it's still in Paris, and it's still in Disney World. By the way, it, and I know Hong this Kong's is a Star name. Wars podcast, but like, what what an amazing like oh. feat of production value it's that ride! Incredible. Is. Oh, it's one, it's of, one of my favorites. What yeah. an immersive, atmospheric experience as we're talking about. The, but but there is like an escape hatch, quote unquote. Like you could yeah. take like the freight yeah. elevator out if you yeah. back out. So yeah, you know, for those high risk rides. So I'm wondering if a kid, you know, you have a, you know, a, a, a young three year old who doesn't. Bib Fortuna a word comes you say. up to a three year old and they have an absolute conniption. <laughs> yeah, like I've never you know? seen this. That happened to me when I was little. I I love dinosaurs so much, and then. My parents took me to see. There's this show traveling. You've probably seen it called Dinosaurs Alive. Oh, I, I did. They had that when you were a kid. Yeah, I thought it and was it, new. And and I, they were like, "We're gonna go see it." And we walked in, and in less than one minute, I was screaming of terror for my life because they yeah. were just life size <laughs> dinosaurs in front of me. <laughs> so I could completely understand some kid. But I love Star Wars. I'm the biggest Star Wars fan ever. And then all of a sudden, just like somebody goes, well, like, oh. yeah, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> or you just like have a meltdown. It's like too much. Yeah. It's just you know. Too it's like much. when kids want to yeah. meet yeah. like Wonder Woman, and then yeah, like, exactly. You know, they get to Gal Gadot and they start crying. It's like yeah. it's just like a lot Look, for the brain. If, if yeah. Amperu yeah. is doing a Jabba show, I'm gonna start crying. I'm gonna need to leave, <laughs> and out of joy, not out of sadness. Out of joy. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot like prom night, where you're like you're so excited, you're so excited, and then yeah. there's just like a lot of tears, and you <laughs> run out screaming. <laughs> <laughs> it's home alone watching a movie. Um, <laughs> Oh. The uh, uh, What's, I, where's I, my hair dryer? I like this unexpected story moment, which yeah. is clearly they just had killing time there, vamping. Um, <laughs> and then, I and then, think, yeah, it's I someone it's, being like like private, <laughs> straighten that hat, you yeah. know, like something. I like, think I think it's meant to be that I they're going to come in and steal some passengers. The yeah. first order is going to board the ship oh, and then they're going to fight and all. Yeah, that. I got to tell you. <laughs> I can tell you, it's a good thing that there's like a high barrier of entry for like what you're getting here in terms of like, you have to really understand what you're buying because they have this whole itinerary. Because I can't imagine like, um, you know, when we took a family trip, I don't think my my uncle would have taken kindly to a bunch of stormtroopers coming in and kidnapping him. You know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah. Like, it's like, you know, all the dads or, or moms, you know, like, whatever. But yeah. I'm thinking of the 80s where it's like yeah. a, you know, begrudging, a begrudging yeah. toxic man went to Disney the, yeah, World yeah. with his family. The um, hell I will go with you. <laughs> I'm wondering sir, just, how sir, they you just would have to react play along. to this. You just have to play along. You're not taking me anywhere. <laughs> I think it just I like paid $6,000 for you to bother me in the hallways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a two-day escape room. Yeah, exactly. Um but I do, I like, you know, there's, there's 
they're going to actually have people in costume as in they're letting everyone who's part of it be in costume. Now I'm curious, are you allowed to be in costume when you go to the park? Because mm. I think that that's always been a thing that's discouraged at Disney World is adults can't wear costumes because uh, they get because confused. They, could, like, steal kids. they get well, they get confused with the cast members too. Right, oh, I, I went the darkest route with it. That they would <laughs> they steal kids, steal. but yeah, they can. <laughs> I'm stealing everything from Doc on Dars if I'm allowed to look like I work there. If I'm yeah. paying six thousand dollars, they owe me something, and yeah. I'm not paying for any merchandise. <laughs> you know, I gotta say though, the way this conversation has gone, it makes me feel like the gift that I was about to give you guys of a two nights <laughs> uh, stay is not going to go over well. All of <laughs> complaining <laughs> <laughs> it's like if like uh your parents like 50th anniversary they just complained about you know greece for 45 <laughs> minutes and then it's like here's two tickets to greece <laughs> uh, <laughs> but i want to read the, the music i'm assuming that's the musical yeah, this is yeah. do you think though it's so so the guests you know they i don't know if they provide they say to pack your jedi robes so they're assuming yeah. everybody has them already yeah do you, or you think can buy though them. It if, says, if it it says it, lim- wardrobe is currently limited to a single planet. If yours, you can always, it's apparel is available in advance from Shop Disney or on the ship. So, okay. But the question is, is if it's 945 at night, you're exhausted. You've been at the parks all day. You're running out in your jam jams to go get ice. You got your bucket. You're going to get ice. You run sure. into a cast member. Is it going to be what like, strange? oh, what strange robes you're wearing? <laughs> sure. What adornments? Please. <laughs> and then they're like, we must take you to the captain to look oh, at your strange God. clothes. You're like, I just want some ice, please. Well, you just I don't know if you're familiar, but if, if you don't wear proper clothing in a Disney park, uh, you are forced into a store to buy a sweatshirt to cover <laughs> you up if you're not wearing, if you have like revealing clothes on. Is that true? Really? Yeah. You're, yeah. You, you can do that or surely, you, you have to leave the park. It's for real? Over. Yeah. Surely, and surely they have very strict vaccine mandates. Yeah. Uh, and don't call must, them right? Shirley. Mm, I think they had mask mandates. I don't think they had vaccine um, mandates. Shirley, you must be vaccined, uh, vaccinated if they're being that strict about the clothing policy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you might think so. Jesus. Um, uh, I, the end of that first day, I love that it's special atrium entertainment, but they only booked them for 15 minutes. <laughs> so this so all happens... That. Okay, so like, is everyone's day... is. This happens in three day chunks, or is like some people's day one? Yes, three day chunks. Day two. It's it's all three day chunks. There's no crossover of somebody on day one or day two. It's like it's three. You book out for three days, and then they have a whole new group another three days. Do you think that there's like a like a a, a narrative that threads through the entire thing? Yes, that's what those story that's moments what I'm are. Thinking, yeah. So, it's by, 100% so when you're day. leaving at 10 a.m. at launch pod terminal you're gonna see like two twilights where it's like will you marry me you know and you're like oh yeah 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 when you're showing up you're gonna see the end of the first story <laughs> well they've got it spaced out you leave at yeah. 10 a.m uh people don't arrive clean, till 1 they, they, got, they gotta clean that place up listen yeah. i always ask for a late checkout and an early check-in right? yeah so I mean, i'm not leaving i'm not leaving 10 a.m <laughs> from anywhere <laughs> It'll be real nice for the the housekeepers to get uh like fake credits as their tip. I'm like great. <laughs> <laughs> that specifically say on them not not yeah, not legal to real tender. <laughs> like oh okay, well, itchy that, and scratchy nice. dollars. I'll take yeah, five thousand itchy and scratchy dollars. Yeah. Um, I I think that overall though, I mean, I I think yeah. that they've got a really cool thing set up. There is a, a twenty minute long Disney Imagineering video where they talk about how they're doing everything and they oh, show. Cool. Another clip of the new lightsaber, which Ooh. is like, it is, it looks incredible. We saw that one clip, I think maybe six months ago. Yeah. I don't, they haven't made it clear if it's just going to be available for people who go to the hotel, which if oh, it is, that's going to be crazy. So that's the one that extends. That is the one that extends and, and feels more realistic despite yeah. it obviously not being a lightsaber. Interesting. But lightsaber training is only 30 minutes. And if lightsaber that's training is 30 right. minutes, it's like everybody <clears throat> has to have their lightsaber yeah. and their own space to train because if you're Ready trying to go, to go one by one, you know, yeah, it doesn't happen. Exactly. Yeah, so I'm, I'm interested. Training that that's world breaking to me. People are upset about the Haldo remo- maneuver. Jeez yeah. Louise, this is world breaking to me. I you're telling me that if, there was 30 minutes of lightsaber training at the Jedi Academy. Needed. I have to imagine <laughs> that like the the big parties. Like I, I think it probably is going to be conducted like a yoga class. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I think you'll be in a big hall with with a group. Yeah, like just, yep. way to go, Peloton. Yeah, yeah. And then they just throw you on that ride. I wonder. I wonder how they're sneaking that in there. What, like, like the Smuggler's Run thing? When they put you on the Rise of Resistance. Do they have? Well, Rise of Resistance wouldn't be the well, case. I wonder if they have their own Smuggler's Run. 
Wait, so you have Oh, to... you know, but there are varieties in Smuggler's Run, so you're right. It might actually be its own thing connected to the story. Oh, can interesting. You, yeah, because you... they, yeah, they track yeah, it's yours. different. Yeah. Can you go to other parks? No. If you're well, doing this, you're only at... Uh, you're only in this whole following oh, of their story. You can't. So go this lands, this just got very claustrophobic feeling to me. <laughs> it, but it lands at Batu. Yeah, no, you get to go to Batu. You go to oh. to Disney, well, MGM or Hollywood Studios. Oh, so you get to go outside and do your. Oh own yeah, thing for Chris. A bit. That's the whole thing where it's like you get to be part of the Batu experience, and it's one that's tailored to those who are part of this. You know, I feel like I'm trying to sell this, and I, I maybe just Disney sends well, something you, my way. You just I think I think you're doing a better job of selling then, this than the what website. Is this? Pod, pod droid racing competition was off track betting. What I a this? lot of this involves gambling. It's kind of <laughs> like it's kind of like watching How pissed think Christian Harloff's going to be when he's not invited to this? <laughs> it's kind of like watching um Feel the Dreams game where all the advertising was for gambling about yeah. the story of someone who couldn't play baseball because they gambled on baseball. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, oh the <laughs> irony. <laughs> I, that's true but i i you know i'm, I'm gonna do this i'm insane i haven't yep. been i oh, haven't mike. been to to star wars land none of us have have been mike, and i'll be there with you i'll be well, there I, I yeah can't wait. I'll, I'll be like a late edition where i'm like i mean you're paying for the room anyway right <laughs> what difference is it if i'm hey here? you yeah, know exactly. we have three births here <laughs> <laughs> you know, the the births are for children under the age of 10 nah, we'll see. I can yeah fit. we'll see i can fit we'll I'll see <laughs> Well, I mean, if you could fit two kids on them, that's, uh, I'm, I'm 30, but uh, 20, yeah, 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 I can do it. Don't worry about it. I like, so Sabak tournament, I'm genuinely interested in that. Build model ship sounds sweet as well. Yeah, that does sound I cool. I mean, the, the activities on the second day are all a taste around the galaxy. I think that's, that's the big show there. And then a spectacular finale, which is, I'm assuming fireworks. That to me sounds like they don't know what it is yet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, but okay, so this is all very cool. I guess, all right, if I'm like a rich person, right, which I'm not, but if I was a rich person, I guess what you do is you do this at the front end of your Disney yeah, trip or the back end, and then the you like spend it. another two days or three days and yeah. you go to like the rest of the park. 100%. Yeah. So you're like, you, you like say like, can I have my luggage transferred from the Galactic Star Cruiser <laughs> to the Caribbean will. Beach Resort? <laughs> yeah. I uh, actually, actually we lost your luggage, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it got uh, stuck uh, in a Sarlacc It got stuck pit. in hyperspace. <laughs> I wonder how much they like, like I imagine that this is built to be just a part of a very rich person's trip to Disney World. Well, it, it feels that way, and I think they know they can charge this. Star Wars is popular enough, and there are enough people who would yeah. spend this kind of money on it. it yeah. It's it's one of those things where it's like the idea that you're now kind of gatekeeping on the coolest parts of, of Disney. I guess that's always been the case, because there's a lot of people who have always been priced out, but now this they're is really like, priced out. Yeah, I mean, Disney World... So out. here's the thing, is that like for, for a, a family of four, like... I would say, I mean, this is a shorter trip, but like for a family of four, it's not crazy, like in the world of Disney World, for a trip to cost six thousand dollars. Right. But for you know, like it's crazy for the world, but it's like that is not unheard of. Yeah. So it's like it's not the pricing is shocking to look at, but like on its face, if you look at like, oh, let me price out a Disney vacation. It wouldn't be that hard to get up to six thousand dollars if you're including like park passes and and. You know, like whatever. The thing is, is that for two people, that's an exorbitant amount. <laughs> yes. Well, but it's also you know the difference of only going to one park for two yes. hours. You yeah, know, obviously that's... you're getting the full Disney experience in the rest of the days, but you know, one park for two. So hours. So you have no option. You, you can't just be like, I'm going to Batu. No. You're that's on the weird. Schedule. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's I... like also Disney. I mean, like I don't want to like Disney has like good restaurants and stuff like, you know, but I'll give them credit is that like I love the idea of a story and an immersive yeah. experience and being on this whole plan for them and to do it for two days, you know, I'm and a... just and then go from there to hey, go back to it. I, I'm, I'm on board. I'm, I'm just mocking it for the sake of uh, fun. It's expensive, but I still yeah. want to do this more than anything in life. Uh, so here's, yeah, here's the I thing. Mean, the Delta yeah, variant I mean, needs it, to be I figured out so I can go. It, it's not fiscally uh, in my in the it's, cards for me at the moment, but yes. like I, I feel like it'd be tone deaf for us to not to just be like, this sounds so great. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can't wait to see it. Uh, the day three seems like a little, uh, they just kind of ran out of ideas, huh? Uh, yeah. You're out the of there by 10 a.m. Day three is like not a day. They no, need to it ramp. Count. 
Which is they why they are it. they are advertising it on the front as a two night experience. Is uh, what they're calling. They it. need to kind of ramp you down though, because like you think how sad you are when you're just leaving a regular hotel. Think about how people felt after Avatar. You yeah. Know? <laughs> they got I need I need four sequels to ramp me down from that high. Plus, I, I'm not a kid anymore, and you know, yeah. four hours or two hours in the morning doesn't oh. seem like an eternity. It no. did when I was a kid. It doesn't yeah. feel that way anymore. That's like yeah. twenty minutes. Well, I you're living this whole thing stuff. in fifteen minute increments. Yeah, and then. You got breakfast. So, like, if I, you know, if I'm just doing the the three day experience, eight thirty to nine thirty on day three is breakfast. All I'm thinking about is the airport. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. Like, oh, like the launch pod terminal. What if our launch is delayed? And I, you know, <laughs> we cut it close. I knew we should have taken the next flight. I yeah. we cut it too close. You get a Dax I think the, the biggest a taxi the scar- cab or something. <laughs> the scariest part to me is. The amount of money I've been intending to plan on, you know, merch in that too. <laughs> yeah. That when you add it to this total for the stay, I don't think I can do the stay because my money is <laughs> going to the, the, the junk. Should, yeah, I mean, I would still. Me. So this sounds amazing and it'd be super fun. But if I'm going to Batu, I would still probably do like the full Disney thing. Yes, yeah. I would. Oh, just yeah. End up so that like yeah, so like at the very least go on Peter Pan's ride, the Peter Pan ride. You know what I mean? Like it's like yeah, oh, hey, you got to do the Pirates of the Caribbean. You got to do the the uh, is the Nordic ride still or is it frozen now? Isn't it? Well, it's, it was yeah. the Maelstrom, and now it's frozen. Uh, they like re I think they redid it to Frozen, but it's still in like Norway or whatever. Yeah, um, okay. yeah. Cool. Peter Pan ride is top of my list. I'd say. When I was a kid, we used to get up really early when the park opened, and it was a tradition. I only went a few times as a kid, but. Um, as a tradition, we went on the we went, got up at six a.m. went and went on the Peter Pan ride. You got to go rope drop. That's that's the wow. Deal. You know, I've never been on that ride. The Peter Pan ride? No, it's, it's lovely. I really like the dark. The, they're called dark rides. I really enjoy yeah. those. I think they're yeah. very nice, especially I when believe... it's. Oh god. Go ahead. Oh god. <laughs> and they never spoke <laughs> again. It's very nice when my family, for some reason, used to go in August. Um, when it's you know a thousand degrees every day, and so the dark rides are really nice because you're on them for like 15 minutes and it's air conditioned. So that is nice. Tip. It's a little pro. It's a little tip. bit of relief. All right, guys. Well, I think that you know we we need to start working harder. We need to go to work so we can get <laughs> enough money so that yeah. we can go to start, yeah. the Galactic Star Cruiser. So this I think we got to end content too. So people are actually paying for this. App. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, the Patreon. We joke a lot about it. We need it set up so we can go. We need to actually set this <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah, like we gotta. We yeah. should set up a, a Kickstarter or something. <laughs> yeah, and like through wording, we could. <laughs> make some like you know make Mike's wish come true. He wants to go on the Galactic Star so, Cruiser. Some, and some clever that... wording could imply that there was some kind of imminent some, thing yeah, that's right. going to happen. Yeah, well, of course. Re- yeah. In reality, we need to give it to a small child who wants to go. Yeah, right. every every right. every room in this place should probably be donated to somebody. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, it should be. You're absolutely and surely the Disney Corporation it. will do that. I mean, if Jeff Bezos is docking, the most yeah. charitable man alive, <laughs> yeah. um, I'm sure Disney will Bezos. be donating a, a a number of rooms for every chunk to to children who Bezos who is at the front go. desk complaining about the space in his room. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's complaining about the hair dryer. About the, the hair dryer. <laughs> I had more yeah. space in real space. <laughs> well that is gonna do it for the droids you're looking for a star wars podcast we'll be back uh next week talking more and probably getting into light of the jedi final five chapters don't forget that's a big what they throw uh-huh. annie <laughs> is that goofy <laughs> yeah it was you goofy bo- you boys want to go on the star cruiser gorse jobber that was my <laughs> trying uh-huh. lightsaber being a billionaire is a moral failing